Hi, I'm Simon. And I'm Kim. And we help people become more confident sailing cruisers. On April 11, 2023, Simon and Kim announced they were selling Britica. Over the past several weeks, a lot has happened, including a great deal of interest in buying this beautiful vessel. I came on board that same week the announcement happened and have seen everything since in real time. As a fan of the channel myself, I thought it was a good time for a one-on-one -on -one so you could hear it from them too. We start with Kim and Sienna's spring break. You came out here with uh, Sienna and Sienna's best friend. Yes, yep. And you came up, we spent... Two weeks. We two were, weeks on the boat. Yep, and we went up here, we went here in the same bay, actually in the same area, and then we went up to um, Green, Green Island. Island. Yeah, had and some fun up there. Yes, had a great time, and we went to see the donkeys, and we did the zip lining, and yes. went to the best well, supermarket. We, did, we didn't. No, the but we kids watched. kids did. <laughs> Yeah, we watched the kids. Um, yeah, it was relaxing. It was nice to be back on the boat. Um, I think, like, Sienna didn't want to leave the boat, which no. I found interesting. Yeah, it was. But then when we said, well, do you want to stay? And she's like, no, no, it's okay. It was kind of like you could tell that... She was conflicted. Right? Yeah, there's a conf conflict, which I think we all have, yeah. which is understandable. So, yeah, I think that was it. We got to meet you, Jason, which is fantastic that I got to come back and see you again. Yeah, it was a good week. Yep. And when you got back home, how was that? Just kind of picked up where you left off and kids back in school, Sienna's back in school. Yep. And yeah, yeah, it's really, really weird. Cause I definitely feel like I have these two different lives. And when I'm here, I'm not thinking at all about living on land. Um, and when I'm on land, I'm not thinking so much about the boat. It, it takes up so much space, I think, in your head. I know it kind of sounds funny, but I do feel like I'm living in, in two different worlds. Yeah. and. Uh... We sailed back to St. Martin to get the furlough put back on and then sail back down here again. And then Kim made a surprise visit. Yeah. She did, yes, which I'm really pleased Yeah, about. and it's funny because my parents said that um, they'd look after Sienna and then Sienna's best friend's mom said, well, we'll look after Sienna. So I'm thinking maybe I could eke out another week from uh, Grandma and Grandpa <laughs> considering they didn't have to do it. Just stay. <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> How was it coming back to the boat and seeing her after what was it, a month, I guess? Yeah, yeah. I, I thought I thought the last time I left, I was only going to come one more time, but now I've I've fit this in. You know, it's hard. Last time, I think it was the first night I cried myself to sleep. This time, it was the second night I just laid in bed and cried. And they're not necessarily. It's it's hard. It's not like I'm upset about what we're doing. It's just that there's so many memories and so much emotion and you get back on the boat and you feel it all like I now have memories whereas when you're living on the boat like you probably don't have that many memories because you've been living it for so long now that I go away and come back I have all these memories flooding in and it's just it's a little like sad you know because it was such a great this has been such a great part of my life and part of me thinks how could life possibly ever get better but I have to, of course, be hopeful and just know it's going to get better somehow. <laughs> the last update you guys did, you were announcing that the boat was for sale. Yeah, we've had a big response. We sent out all the emails of all the information about the boat and uh, quite a few people have got back to us. And uh, there's about three or four people that are talking to me and keeping in contact. And they've, they've got situations where they have to sell something. Uh, either a, their boat before they can buy this boat or a house and some businesses so uh, yeah it, I was hoping to be a bit further along but yeah, we got some uh, good people looking at uh, looking forward to maybe getting on the boat and, and seeing how she is but if you're interested drop us an email yeah I think people would be interested to know that pretty much just what I've heard on the phone uh, most of these people have sailing experience this isn't just a first timer buying Britican like these people somewhat know what they're doing yes yeah, yeah. it seems that way it, it, it would be quite difficult if you're a, a, a brand new person never sailed a boat to come on a boat of this size and this mm -hmm. power to to do it doesn't mean you couldn't do it it's just it's just a big step yeah we started off in a 35 foot uh, boat and we sailed that for two years and I don't, I'm not exactly sure how we felt going from the little boat to this boat. I, I think I expected we would handle it better. So when we got on this boat, it was like, wow, this is big. <laughs> it, 
I don't think the big it, it was big for the first week you know, yeah. moving around and I felt confident after that it was just the systems there's yeah. just you know we had like 10 systems on there we, we've got like 60 on this one so it, and it's just just a bit more overwhelming that way but once you break it down and get to it you just get into a routine and it, I found I find it not easy but it's just it's just it's just a routine now so yeah with our checklist yes Speaking of which, that updated checklist is now available online at sailingbritican.com. We meet a lot of people out here cruising, and they've got a lot of questions for Simon and Kim about what's next. Somebody said on um, Facebook the other day, are you getting another boat or are you done? And I put neither. <laughs> I mean, that's the answer. It's neither. We don't, you know, I'm sure we'll get another boat in the future. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to see how Sienna gets on with school and take it from there and you know, it might be a few years time, it might be six years. We've got a party boat going out behind us. <laughs> yeah. That's the fun part about cruising. There's something yeah. going on all the time. Yeah. It is, it is. So, Simon, you're actually gonna be on a boat. Yeah, so um, our good friend, Len and Connie, have a boat which they charter out, but because they have kids, they go back to their relative countries to see their kids. and. For three weeks, the boat is uh, on a mooring ball, not doing anything. And so uh, Len goes, well, why don't you do the Britain experiences on his boat, Manava? And I went, yeah, wow, brilliant. What a brilliant idea. And uh, I've already booked up two um, since since we started doing that. And, um, you know, if you want to come and look at a cat, and still come out sailing with us and bring some friends along. And, uh, you know, they can have a bit of a vacation. It brings the price down and uh, it's uh, something, a great experience and I'm really looking forward to it. It's a cool boat. We had dinner on there a couple of times and hung out yeah. a few times. Tell me about like the size of the boat and you know her details. Yeah, so she is a 50 foot lagoon and um, Len and Connie have put up this beautiful seating arrangement on the top, which is, oh, it's just absolutely fantastic. You know, yeah. sitting up there with the cocktails you, you don't want to go anywhere really it's, oh, really, it's really it's really really fantastic and uh, she's got all the amenities or you can ever want and uh, I, i'm really looking forward to going out on her and uh, seeing how she sails see if she's any good at sailing compared to britain <laughs> hey len well we we know the answer to that yes <laughs> so pretty much the message for everybody is stay tuned there's more to come oh yes there's definitely more to come and then and then people, uh, we get, I'm getting a lot of emails going, oh, could you come and help me on my boat? So that might be something that I do in the future as well. Come and help you on your boat when you, when you first get it or do your first little passage. couple of passage for you know a couple of nights. And uh, we'll see how it goes from there. I'm looking forward to doing that as well. Yeah. There's been a lot of support just in the comments, I noticed. Mm. The, you know. Yeah, yeah, there has been a, a massive amount of support and there's been, you know, so many people that have emailed saying, you know, we can see this is difficult for you and um, we appreciate what you're doing for your daughter and um, and for the family, you know, it's, we, we don't, we didn't know where this was gonna lead to and heck, we started out thinking we were gonna cruise for like three years. Three to five years. Yeah, yeah and it's been almost 10 years and I consider ourselves to be very fortunate people and we are extremely extremely grateful to have had the opportunity to spend uh, our daughter's you know younger time younger years as a family unit 24 hours a day i know that probably sounds scary but we had a great time oh, yeah. and you know and it was fantastic and we'll just see we'll just see where it goes we'll just see where it goes from there Pritikin experience is waiting to pick it up. <laughs> we gotta go now. Yeah, we, we have a guest coming on board in five minutes. And, well, yeah, as soon as I get the dinghy down, I'm gonna pick him up. <laughs> <laughs> until next time. Yeah, until next time. Bye! Bye. Bye.